Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today the Cubs are going to kick off a two-game home series against the Cleveland Indians, which is going to wrap up this five-game homestand. The Cubs, entering play to get today, 14 and a half games up on the second-place Milwaukee Brewers and second-place St. Louis Cardinals, who are in a tie, and trailing the Dodgers by seven games for the best record in the National League. The Cubs, for today's game against Cleveland, are going to be sending Brent Suter out to the mound. He is making his first start after serving a six-game suspension for getting in a fight in our last series at New York. Suter is making start number 13. He has a 3-3 three three record with a 3.38 ERA and a 1.01 whip. There are going to be some edits to the Cubs lineup today. However, most notably, the Cubs have both Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant returning from the disabled list today. Rizzo returning after a short stint on the disabled list. However, Bryant making his first appearance with the team this season. So, Erie Adrianza is going to be starting at shortstop for Carlos Correa. And George Springer is going to be sitting in favor of Malik Smith. Danny Santana will be sitting in favor of Mike Tauschman. So we're going to get some new faces in the lineup today. Beyond just the Rizzo and Bryant combination. Now, we are going to see that the Cubs will have a lineup today that will include Horner, Rizzo, Harper, Bryant, Ramos, Tauschman, Adrianza, Malik Smith, and Brent Suter doing the pitching and batting ninth. For the Indians, Aaron Savale is going to be on the mound. He is making start number 14 with a 5-4 and four record. He has a 480 ERA and a 128 whip. The Indians are using a lineup of Yamada, Arroyo, Lindor, Ramirez, Santi Santana, Contreras, Tom Murphy, Alex Guerrero, and Aaron Savale batting ninth. It is 70 degrees and the wind is blowing in off the lake at 9 mph. And now it is time to get today's game underway. The Cubs, as we said, entering play, 14 and a half games up on the second place team in the National League Central. So with Suter on the mound, he got an extra day's rest due to the six game suspension. And now he's out here facing the Indians in today's contest. Suter is looking for the sign, and here comes the pitch. That is low. It is ball four, so he issues the leadoff walk. And now Suter will face Arroyo with Yamato in first and nobody out. We're going to throw over to first and see if, nope, not going to catch him. Let's try to pitch out and see. We'll pitch to the batter. One pitch. There's a swing and a miss for strike one. So with strike one, we're going to pitch out and see what happens, see if they send the runner. And the runner goes, and he is dead to rights down at second base. Wilson Ramos cuts down his third runner of the season on the stolen base attempt. And now the Cubs have one out and nobody on. Arroyo still batting. And here's the one and two pitch from Suter. And that is swing and a miss for strike three. Got him with the changeup for out number two. Suter now facing Lindor with two outs and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch to Lindor, and he drives it into center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. So the throw goes back into the cutoff man, and now with a one-out single, a two-out single, excuse me, the Indians have a base runner here in the top of the first inning. Suter facing Ramirez, two outs, one man on. 
Two balls is the count, and there's a drive down the right field line. That's going to be extra bases. Rounding second, first and heading for second is Ramirez. The runner stops at third, and Suter now has allowed consecutive base hits, which allows the Indians to have second and third with two outs in the top of the first inning. And now Domingo Santana steps up to the plate. He is also an outfielder, just like the Cubs' Danny Santana. And he comes up trying to break the scoreless tie here in the top of the first inning. Suter working with a 2-2 pitch, and he drives it out to left. However, adjusting just by a few steps is Mike Tauschman. He makes the play to end the inning. So the Indians strand two. We go to the bottom of the first of a scoreless ball game. Nico Horner facing Aaron Savale here in the bottom of the first inning. 2-2 two -two is the count. Here comes the pitch. Savale looking in. There's the delivery. And a grounder toward first. Picked up and flipping to the pitcher covering. But uh, somehow Horner beats that throw down to first because he waited for the pitcher to cover instead of just running the ball to the base himself. Nico Horner gets a leadoff single. So now Anthony Rizzo steps up to the plate. He was batting well this season before he went down to the disabled list. He 312 with eight home runs, 42 RBIs. Savale working with a 2-2 count. Here's the pitch to Rizzo, and he drives that one into left field. That's gonna drop in for a base hit. Horner stopping at second after a big turn. And now the Cubs have two men on with nobody out here in the bottom of the first inning. So now, Horner, the lead runner, is pretty speedy. I think we're going to attempt to double steal at some point in this sequence. Let's see what the pitch is to Harper. Here's the first pitch. There's a liner in the center field. I guess no opportunity for that. A lead, uh, first pitch single for... Bryce Harper loads the bases with nobody out in the bottom of the first inning. And now Chris Bryant, the batter. Bottom of the first, Bryant making his first at-bat of the season, and he comes up with the bases loaded and nobody out in the bottom of the first inning. Aaron Savale working to Bryant, first pitch. Liner right at the third baseman. Everybody has to dive back to their base. Man, Bryant hit that one right on the buttons, but that was directly at the third baseman for out number one. Now Mike Tauschman is the batter with one out and the base is still loaded. Savale working with a three and one count. That is a grounder up the middle. The second baseman has it. The throw to short. The relay to first. It's a 4-6-3 double play and somehow the Indians escape that inning. So we go now to the top of the second. It's still scoreless here at Wrigley Field. Wilson Contreras batting for the Indians. Former Cub leading off the top of the second inning. Suter working with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. Right. Swing and a miss, first strike three. Suter gets him on the curve ball for first out of the inning. Suter's second strikeout. And now Tom Murphy, the batter. One out, nobody on. First pitch to Murphy. And a drive did left, chasing his Tauschman toward the line. He gets toward the wall and makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Guerrero now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Suter working with a one and one count. Here comes the pitch. Grounder over to second. Horner has it. He throws to first and that'll end the inning. So the Indians go down in order. We go to the bottom of the second of a scoreless ball game. Wilson Ramos leading off the Cubs in the bottom of the second inning. Three and one is the count. Savale looking to deliver the pitch. And that is low. It is ball four as Ramos draws the walk. And now Malik Smith is the batter. With a runner on first and nobody out, Malik Smith is gonna be looking to lay down a bunt right here. Let's see if he can bunt for a single. Here comes the pitch. The bunt is laid down back toward the mound. The throw goes to first for the first out of the inning. The runner advances to second. That's gonna be counted as a sacrifice. And now Erie Adrianza is the batter. With a runner on second and one out in the bottom of the second inning. First pitch to Eri Adrianza. Here it comes. Oh, and he's hit by the pitch. So he takes his base. As he heads down to first, that brings up the pitcher with one out runners on first and second. And now we're going to see another bunt attempt. Savale working. First pitch to Suter. The bunt is laid down back toward the mound. The throw goes to third, and they retire the lead runner 
for the second out of the inning. Well, so the pitcher, Suter, bunted that too hard. It went directly back to the mound. They throw out Ramos easily at third, and now Nico Horner's the batter with two outs, runners on first and second. Scoreless ball game. One ball count to Nico Horner. Here's the pitch, and a drive to center field. Nico Horner hits that one high off the ivy. One run is in. Horner heads for second. He's going to stop with an RBI double. Two runs score. And the Cubs have a 2 0 lead here in the bottom of the second inning. Nico Horner with a two run RBI double. That gives him 42 on the season. And it brings up Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo one for one today with two outs and the runner on second. Here's the one strike pitch to Anthony Rizzo. Savail delivers. And that's golfed out into right field. Chasing is the right fielder toward right center. He makes the play to end the inning. So the Cubs score twice. We go to the top of the third of a 2-0 ball game. And now the pitcher Savale will lead off against the pitcher Suter in the top of the third inning. Two and two is the count. Suter delivers. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. That was a fastball. And Suter gets his third strikeout of the game. Yamada now the batter with one out, nobody on. First pitch to Yamada, and he pops it up to short left field. Coming in is Tauschman. He looks up and makes the play for out number two. Arroyo the batter, two outs, nobody on. Full count pitch to Arroyo, and he pops it up on the infield. Coming in is Rizzo, who calls for it. He makes the play to end the inning. So the Indians go down in order. We go down to the bottom of the third of a 2-0 Cub lead. Bryce Harper leading off for the Cubs in the bottom of the third inning. He's one for one today. Three and one is the count. Here's the pitch to Harper, and he takes low for ball four. So that is a leadoff walk as Bryce Harper walks down to first, bringing up Chris Bryant. Bryant striking out in his first at bat today. Coming up now with a runner on first, nobody out. Here's the one strike pitch to Chris Bryant, and he pops it up. Deep center field, but playable, going toward the warning track. The catch is made for out number one. The center fielder, Arroyo, pulled that one in, and that is the first out of the inning. Mike Tauschman now the batter with a runner on first, one out. Here's the 3-0 pitch to Tauschman, and that is low. It is ball four. So two walks give the Cubs runners on first and second with one out, and it brings up Wilson Ramos. Bottom of the third, one out, two men on. Cubs looking for some insurance runs. Here comes the two and one pitch to Wilson Ramos. And he lines that one right back at the pitcher. They throw to second. Do they double him off? I'm not sure. No. Well, so <laughs> apparently Harper alertly dove back to second to avoid being doubled off. So the Cubs now send Malik Smith up to the mound up to the plate with two outs and runners still on first and second. That was a line shot right at the pitcher and Savale just caught that out of self-defense. So now the first pitch to Malik Smith, here it comes, grounder toward short, picked up, thrown to second, they get the intermediate runner to end the inning. So the Cubs do not score, they strand two. We're going to the top of the fourth of a two nothing ball game. Francisco Lindor leading off against Brent Suter here in the top of the fourth. One ball is the count. Suter delivers the pitch. There's a grounder toward first. Diving play for Rizzo. He has it. Flips to the pitcher. And the throw is, the ball is thrown away toward the dugout. So that's an error. And the runner is going to achieve first base on the Rizzo throwing error. And now Ramirez, the batter, with a runner on first, nobody out. Suter working with a full count. Here comes the pitch. High for, oh, strike three is called. Oh, man, I thought that was going to be a high fastball. The umpire rung him up. So that is out number one. Lindor over at first. He really is a threat to steal. We need to pay some attention to him. So we're going to throw a pitch and see if he goes. He does not. So that is ball one. We're going to throw over to first now. And the pickoff throw, he's safe. Pitch to the batter again, see what happens. Grounder towards short, or third. The throw goes to second, but no relay to first. So that is going to be the second out of the inning on a fielder's choice. And now the runner on first is Santana, 
with Contreras coming up to the plate. Two outs, one man on. Here is the pitch. One and two is the count. And a looper right at the shortstop. And Adrianza makes the play to end the inning. So the Indian strander runner would go to the bottom of the fourth of a 2-0 ball game. Erie Adrianza leading off for the Cubs in the bottom of the fourth inning. Savale still on the mound working his fourth inning of this ball game. Here's a one and two count. And there's a grounder towards short. The throw goes over to first. That is out number one. Suter now the batter. One out, nobody on. First pitch to Brent Suter. Here it comes. And he lopes it into right center field. Chasing is the center fielder who looks up and gets a glove on it for out number two. Nico Horner now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. One strike is the count. Savale looking to deliver the pitch. And there's a pop-up to right. Chasing toward the warning track is the right fielder. He's going to make the play to end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. We go to the top of the fifth of a 2-0 ball game. And now Tom Murphy batting for the Indians here in the top of the fifth inning. Suter working with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Got him with the slider. That's out number one. It is strikeout number five for Brent Suter. Brings up Guerrero. With one out, nobody on. Two balls is the count. Suter delivers. There's a grounder towards short. Picked up. Thrown over to first for out number two. And now Savale the batter with two outs and nobody on. Suter working with a 2-2 count. Here's the pitch. Grounder towards short. Adrianza has it. He throws to first to end the inning. So the Indians go down in order. We go to the bottom of the fifth of a 2-0 Cub lead. And Anthony Rizzo going to lead off for the Cubs. He's one for two today against Aaron Savale. Here's a full count pitch from Savale. Low for ball four. So that was low, maybe even inside. And Rizzo draws the walk to lead off the inning. Bryce Harper now the batter. One for one today. He's facing Savale with a runner on first. Nobody out. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch to Bryce Harper. And he grounds it up the middle. The shortstop has it. Stepping on second. Relay to first. And that is a 6-3 double play. The Indians turn the double play to erase the base runner. Brings up Chris Bryant with two outs and nobody on. Bryant facing Savale with a one strike count. Here is the pitch. And Bryant grounds it over to third. Third baseman scoops it up, throws to first, which ends the inning. So the Cubs do not score as Savale faces the minimum. We go to the top of the sixth of a 2-0 Chicago lead. Yamada leading off. The Indians leadoff hitter here to lead off in the top of the sixth inning. Suter working with a two-strike count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Suter gets him on the curveball for out number one. Six strikeouts on the day for Brent Suter, and it brings up Arroyo. One out, nobody on. One and one is the count. Suter delivers. Liner into right. Chasing toward the wall is Harper. He's going to play it off the wall. The throw goes to second, and that's going to be a one-out double. So the Indians now have a runner in scoring position as Arroyo cruises into second. It brings up Francisco Lindor. And let's see here. Suter actually isn't due up until he wouldn't be cut up. He wouldn't get up unless the Cubs sent five guys to the plate in the next half inning. We are going to preemptively warm up a reliever, which is going to be Liam Hendricks. In the event that we should need somebody to pitch in this inning. We're going to visit the mound and we're going to say, oh yeah, I'm good, no worries. Suter says, let me in here. He's at 83 pitches and there's a runner on second. Lindor at home actually represents the tying run. So Suter working now with a one and two count. And Lindor swings and misses for strike two. Got him with the curve for the second out of the inning. Seven strikeouts for Suter and it brings up Jose Ramirez. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Jose Ramirez batting now with two outs and the runner on second. Suter looking to get out of the inning. Here's the first pitch to Jose Ramirez. And a golf shot out to right, left center field. Chasing is Tauschman. He puts it away to end the inning. So the 
Pardon me, the Indians strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the bottom of the sixth of a 2-0 ball game. And Liam Hendricks is ready to come in. I'm pretty confident he's going to come into this game in the next half inning. So let's see how many batters we send up. Tauschman facing Savale, bottom of the sixth. Cubs already up by two, looking for some more runs. Full count to Mike Tauschman. Here comes the pitch. And a pop-up to left. Chasing is the left fielder. He comes in and makes the catch front number one. Wilson Ramos now the batter. One out, nobody on. First pitch to Wilson Ramos. Here it comes. And Ramos pops it up the opposite way to right. Chasing is the right fielder toward right center, and he puts it away for out number two. And now Malik Smith coming up. With two outs, nobody on. Malik Smith is 0 for 1 today. He is waiting for the pitch from Savale. Here is the pitch, and a liner into left. That is going to drop in for a two-out single. So Malik Smith stopping at first with a base hit. Aaron Adrianza now is the batter. With Malik Smith on first and two outs, and this is actually going to give us an opportunity. Well, but you see, if I pinch hit for Adrianza, then I'm pretty sure I'm costing myself my best defensive shortstop because, yeah, Thyro Estrada is only a 10 at shortstop. Adrianza is a 12. Is Horner? No, he's a 10 at short also. Yeah, so that's a downgrade. Defensively in a close game, I don't feel like that makes a lot of sense. Adrianza is just going to have to bat for himself. However, we're going to see if we can get Malik Smith in the scoring position. Let's try to steal in the first pitch, see what happens. Here comes the pitch. Savale working. And that's a ball high. The throw goes down to second, but it's late. And Malik Smith picks up his 11th stolen base of the season. So the Cubs now have a runner in scoring position. Adrianza facing Savale in the bottom of the sixth inning. And they get the free pass. Oh, wow. Well, now this makes things very interesting because suddenly Suter comes up, and we are going to use a pinch hitter. Liam Hendricks is ready to come into this ball game. And we need Danny Santana off the bench for this situation. Santana, the switch hitter, is going to come up and pinch hit from the left side against the righty Aaron Savale. With two outs, two men on the bottom of the sixth inning. Cubs looking to add to a two-run lead. Savale working with a full count. Here is the pitch to Santana. And a grounder up the middle, the second baseman has it. He throws to first, which ends the inning. So the Cubs strand two. They do not score. We are going now to the top of the seventh of a 2-0 Cub lead. And now Liam Hendricks is going to be coming into this ball game. He is going to be inserted to the number nine spot to pitch. Hendricks is going to face the five, six, and seven batters in the Indians lineup in the top of the seventh inning. Hendricks facing Domin Domingo Santana here in the top of the seventh. One and two is the count. Liam Hendricks looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Got him on the high fastball at 96. That is out number one. Hendricks now facing Contreras with one out, nobody on. One strike is the count. Contreras waiting the pitch, and there's a grounder toward third. Picked up by Bryant. He throws to first. That's out number one, two. And now Tom Murphy's the batter with two outs and nobody on. Hendricks working. First pitch to Tom Murphy. Here it comes. He popped up to center. Coming in is Malik Smith. He looks up, and he puts it away to end the inning. So the Indians go down in order. We go down to the bottom of the seventh of a 2-0 Cub lead. And today, to lead the seventh inning stretch, we have Iowa native Simon Estes here to lead us with Take Me Out to the Ball Game. In the bottom of the seventh inning, Nico Horner is going to lead off against Aaron Savale. And we're going to see... Another pitcher warmed up out of the Cubs bullpen. 
for the seventh inning. This is the bottom of the seventh inning, yes. So Birdie is going to be warmed up to throw in the eighth. Now, Seville facing Horner here in the bottom of the seventh to lead off for the Cubs. One strike is the count. Seville looking to deliver. And there's a liner down the right field line. That's going to be extra bases. It rattles around in the corner as Horner rounds first, heading for second. Is he going to have a triple? The throw comes in late. Horner speeding around second, sliding into third with a leadoff triple here in the bottom of the seventh inning. So the Cubs looking to add some insurance runs as Anthony Rizzo comes up to the plate with a runner on third, nobody out. Here comes the three and one pitch and Rizzo takes low for ball four. So the walk is issued. That's Aaron Savale's sixth walk of this ball game. And he is still out there on the mound toiling away as Bryce Harper comes up to the plate. Runners on the corners, nobody out. Harper, one for two today, facing Savale with a full count. Here's the pitch. Popped up to right. This is not going to be deep enough. The right fielder coming in to shallow right field. The throw goes to the cutoff man, and everybody stays put for out number one. So now Chris Bryant is the batter, and now the Indians go to the bullpen. We have Jose Alvarez coming out of the... Indians bullpen to pitch here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Alvarez has thrown 27 in the third innings, walked four, struck out 22 with a 2.63 ERA. Alvarez facing Chris Bryant with runners on the corners, one out in the bottom of the seventh inning. Bryant waiting for the one strike pitch. Alvarez looking for the sign. And the delivery, grounder towards second, picked up, thrown to short, the relay to first, that is a 4-6-3 double play and the run does not count, and the Cubs are retired in the bottom of the seventh. We go now to the top of the eighth. That's a still a 2-0 ball game. And now, Nick Birdie is going to be brought into this ball game. Birdie is going to face the lefty, Nolan Jones, for the Braves. Jones has six home runs, 25 RBIs, and a 224 batting average. He is pinch hitting in the top of the eighth inning. Birdie working to the eight, nine, and one batters in the Indian lineup here in the top of the eighth. Full count, Birdie looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. Liner up the middle, that is gonna be a leadoff single. Nolan Jones stopping at first with a base hit to lead off for the Indians half of the eighth. And now, we see another pinch hitter, Daniel Johnson, comes up to the plate. With a runner on first, nobody out. And we are going to go ahead and warm up Edwin Diaz in the event that we should need him. Birdie facing Johnson with a runner on first, nobody out. Cubs up by two. Here's a one strike count, and Birdie delivers. There's a pop up to center. Malik Smith going back toward the warning track. He looks up, and the catch is made from the one. Next up is Tetsudo Yamada. He is 0 for 2 today, facing Birdie with one out, one man on. Birdie working with a two strike count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Birdie gets him on the high heat, a 96 mile an hour fastball for out number two. And now Arroyo the batter with two outs and the runner still on first. Here comes the full count pitch from Birdie. The delivery and a blow for ball four. Wow, so Birdie thought he got squeezed there, and Jones heads over to second. And now Francisco Lindor is the batter, with two outs and two men on in the top of the eight. So Birdie is going to get one more chance to get out of this inning. He's going to face Lindor, and if he doesn't get him out, well, we've, oh, Diaz is ready. Oh, well, I think we need to bring in Diaz. If he's ready, he's just going to have to get four outs today. So here's what we're going to do. Diaz is going to come in on a double switch, which means that Bryant, on his first day back, is actually going to get subbed out of this game. Diaz will pitch, and Thyra Estrada will come in to play third. So Edwin Diaz coming out of the Cub bullpen, looking to earn the save. He is... Three and two, 
with 29 innings thrown, 8 walks, 54 strikeouts, and a 155 ERA. He's facing Francisco Lindor with runners on first and second, two outs in the top of the eighth inning. Diaz working with a two-strike count. He is looking for the sign. And here's the pitch. Strike three called right at the knees, and Diaz gets the strikeout to end the inning. So the Indians strand two. They do not score. We go to the bottom of the eighth of a 2-0 ball game. And Mike Tauschman is going to lead off against Trevor May in the bottom of the eighth. May coming out of the Indians' bullpen. He has thrown 30.2 innings. He has allowed nine walks, 27 strikeouts, and a 117 ERA. May facing Tauschman, who is 0 for 2 today. Full count. Here is the pitch to Mike Tauschman. May delivers. Swing and a miss for strike three. So Tauschman goes down swinging at the fastball that was up and in. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos with one out, nobody on. Full count pitch to Ramos. Here it comes. Strike three at the knees. That's two strikeouts now as May has a pair of punch outs bringing up Malik Smith. Smith one for two today. Facing May with two outs, nobody on. Three and one is the count. Here's the pitch. And Malik Smith lines that one down the right field line. He's going to be gunning for extra bases. Rounding first, heading for second. Smith is going to cruise in easily with a stand-up double in the top of the ninth and bottom of the eighth inning. Excuse me. So with two outs <clears throat> and the runner on second, Ari Adrianza comes up to the plate. He is going to be batting for the Cubs as they try to expand this two-run lead in the bottom of the eighth inning. May working with a two-strike count, and Adrianza pops it up behind third base. Going back as the third baseman in short left field, he makes the play to end the inning. So the Cubs strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the top of the ninth of a 2 nothing ball game. And Edwin Diaz coming out to earn the save here in the top of the ninth inning. It'll be a four-out save today. He struck out the first batter he faced on three pitches. Jose Ramirez now the batter with... The Cubs up by two in the top of the ninth inning. One and two is the count. Edwin Diaz delivers, and that's a pop-up to right. The right fielder, Harper, coming over. He looks up and makes the catch. Drop in the air. Diaz now facing Domingo Santana with one out, nobody on. Full count pitch from Diaz. Here it comes. Strike three, Strike three is called. Letter high fastball for out number two. That was 96 miles an hour and Santana just watched it go by. So Wilson Contreras now comes up as the Indians are down to their final out with two outs and nobody on. Diaz working with a one and two count. And a swing and a miss to end the game. So the Cubs shut out the Indians two nothing in the first game of this two game series. Cubs getting two runs on seven hits with one error. The Indians no runs, four hits and no errors. The Player of today's game is the Cubs' Brent Suter. He earns the win, his fourth of the season, as he improves to four and two. He threw six innings of three hit shutout baseball with one walk and seven strikeouts. The Cubs also got three scoreless innings of relief out of the bullpen as Hendricks and Birdie both earned holds, and Diaz gets his 16th save of the season, facing four batters and striking out three of them. Aaron Savale suffers the loss. He threw six in a third innings of six hit two run baseball with six walks and no strikeouts. So the Cubs improved to 48 and 24 as the Indians dropped to 28 and 44. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.